Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Got a special guest here. We're live. How's your night going? You know, it's it's going all right, man. It's nice to be back in the in the old neighborhood. You know, I'm gonna see where where things are and see how shit's changed. You know, did I say that on there? Yep. Okay, so we're cool. we're talking about <coughs> gentrification. So what have you got to say about gentrification? Well, you know, here's the thing is like, you know, I remember being here. There's so much stuff that it wasn't here before that's now here, you know, and it's kind of weird because I know everything's changed. I know that the other part is that, you know, people own property. Yeah. And, and, they, and that's part of like their right is that they own property. They paid for it. They inherited it, you know, however they came across its possession. And then they decide, oh, I'm going to go and take this property and I'm going to make money with it, you know. But what normally happens is they say, I have these rundown apartments that really I rent for less because the, I can't rent them for more because they're kind of, you know, crappy apartments. And I know I can't make any more money off them, you know. Yeah. So that's that's the idea behind them, you know. And it, it, But then what happens is they said, oh, I'm going to take these, these apartments and I'm going to tear them down and build new ones. Or I'm going to sell them to somebody who wants to do it. So basically, you're, you know, think about like you're, you were a slumlord, right? Yeah. And then you're like, okay, I'm not going to be a slumlord anymore. I really just want, you know, I, I want to sell this. I want to get out from underneath it because it's kind of a pain in the ass. And I just want to, I just want to move on with my life. Yeah. So that's, that's <laughs> what, that's what happens, you know? <clears throat> so... I mean, you know, it's just, it, you know, and so that's what, what happens. And then they, they, they tear down the old apartments that people could afford. And then, you know, they invest all this money in there. And then they build apartments, you know, only only people of a certain means can afford. Like, you know, uh, and, you know, typically you're talking about, you know, students, you know. You're talking about people who, you know, that they have lots of disposable income and, and stuff like that. I mean, well, this is being built up, so that's, that's yeah, that's, that's new right there. Taco Man is still there. I had a lot of you know drunken nights there. <laughs> um, HEB got looks like they got refurbished. So they this, did. This is, this is where I used to Pleasant Valley. Um, oh wait, that's stay in this yeah, lane. That's, yeah, I was about to say that's that looks like it's a U-turn. So yeah, I mean you know. So remember over there that student housing that used to be over there off of. Um, Right on the other side of that light, way over there. Wow! All of that, yeah. Those are you want to look? What? What? Well, hold on. I want to go by my own, own, own apartment first. Let's take a look. But yeah, man, it's like you know, this 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 is kind of what what happens. And but like I said, my concern is, I mean, as you know, it's like part of it is that you know, all that happens is it costs kids to live live a long time to make more money. You know. Uh, excuse me. Takes it costs more to live here, to go to school, right? You know. Yeah. And I, I don't know that you're really serving them any by by making things cost more. That's problem number one. Problem number two is you you you've, you've taken away this this housing people had, and you you, you know now they have to go further out. So it's kind of weird because you know you have these really well off people who. You know they they you know they they drive they they buy this expensive property and they don't have to go as far to get to where they're going which it's kind of weird because like that's their right i mean if they can afford the property and poor people can't all right well that's that's how things are wow this is remember, all new remember all this student housing over here on the right i don't remember that being there i'll be honest that was that was after me this is definitely new here on the left yeah this is new that they used to be I think that used to be the, the movie theater, if I remember correctly. It was a movie theater. Yeah, so that's all gone. All right, so now we're coming up on the place where I used to live. At least I think so. Yeah, yeah, this is where I used to live. Is it still here? We're about to find out. It is. I believe this is it. I think it's got a new name, though. Hell, am I allowed to go in there? You can go in there. All right. Cause I, I was... mean, you can't turn there, but... You have to make, yeah, you can turn right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn in there because I just want, whoa, where's, that's a big ass parking garage, man. So that's all gone. There's no, there's no, there, that's, that used to be another apartment complex. That's all gone. Let me see. So that's, that's kind of surprising. But like I said, as far as I can tell, 
except for a paint job. This is still the same apartment complex I lived in. It's been, yeah, but it has been vastly remodeled. Oh, I don't doubt it. I mean, the, I mean, vastly. The, the apartment I used to live in, man, it's like we lived in there for like probably four years, and we never, they never changed the carpet or anything. So yeah, they, <laughs> they needed to remodel that apartment by the time we were done. And I'm not saying we're particularly messy people. I'm just saying, you know, yeah, after four years of treading. <laughs> That, the stuff they had in there really wasn't expected to make it four years. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, this is this hasn't really changed. Yeah, I'm like... This, it's changed owners, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. I mean, you know, but yeah, this is this is where... I believe I used to live in this one. The one on the left, the 175. Yeah, this hasn't changed. Holding nine. Yeah, this hasn't, this hasn't changed at all. I mean, it's like the <clears throat> the foyer is different, the paint job's different. I'm pretty sure the layouts are basically the same. This is probably one of the I, I'm almost certain this is probably one of the cheaper apartments they got around here. No, I'm 